would be a handsome fella if he had another face and a different smell about his mouth. Queer him from winning in a beauty show. For it looks just like a steamboat funnel or the railway out or the Blackwell Tunnel. And you can't see Jim when he opens it wide, you know. And when poor Jim goes walking about, you can hear the kids all hollering out. What a mouth, what a mouth, what an offense of Crikey, what a mouth he's got. When he was a youngster, oh, Lord, love him, why his poor old mother used to feed him with the trouble, what a gap. Poor chap, he never been known to love. For if he did, it's a penny to a quid that his face would fall in half. Though his great big mouth, it ain't all honey. He can whisper in his own ear, ain't it funny? But to lay the dust, he has to drink a lot, oh, my. And he gets so tight one foggy morning that he laid down flat in the roadway yawning as the poor old man was delivering coals nearby. And as he went to shift the load, he caught Jim's mouth out in the road. What a mouth, what a mouth, what an off and south. Crikey, what a mouth he's got. The coal man and old short-sighted fellow saw his mouth wide open and he took it for the cellar and he got the lot right into his mouth, no joke. For Jim, poor soul, got a tummy full of coal and he coughed up lumps of coal. In the tap room of the rose and thistle, Jimmy often has to try to wet his whistle, but he can't succeed until he has a hundred pops. First a hundred pops of beer he'll swallow, then as all of his teeth at the back are hollow, he can still find room for a dozen or so rum hops. A new barmaid came there one night. She saw Jim's mouth and yelled with fright. What a mouth, what a mouth, what an offense of law. Let me what a mouth he's got. He opened it wide and the barmaid hollered for the future. Pop, he accidentally had swallowed it with pop. That pop soon melted and now he sits down by the fire with a little bit of wire and he hooks up to pop it. Jimmy being in bed one night was snoring and the neighbors round for the line was roaring and the old Dutch clock that was hanging on the bedroom wall from the nail fell into his big mouth wallop. Jim awoke and yelled go for Dr. Jollop and his wife, no fear, you have swallowed the clock that tall. And now the people, isn't it prime? Look down in his throat to see the time. What a mouth, what a mouth, what an offense of flaw. Let me what a mouth he's got. The words of the old Dutch cock keep whizzing in his rum tum tummy like a lot of sherbet fishing and his wife. What strife? Can't sleep for the night, that's right. Cause against his tongue, he can hear the pendulum going tick, tick, tock all night. 